social media was awash with nane nane hashtag. Um, the enthusiasm was palpable and tangible. You could almost grasp it. You know, we were charged and we were hyped. Come the D-Day, I was in the CBD a quarter to nine and it was teeming and swamped by officers, many who were not even in uniform and it bamboozled and petrified the hell out of me because I did not know if these were goons or they were actually legitimate officers. Now, the strategy that they used and which worked is by 9 a.m. there were roadblocks that were erected in all entry points, thus curbing access of matatus into the CBD. Um, the few youth who had assembled in the CBD before the roadblock thing were not even a thousand against almost 5,000 police officers and hundreds of others who were walking and shooing uh, citizens and intimidating citizens with horse sticks. And then all hell descended on earth. Hundreds were arrested the moment they began to picket. And in the Bible, they say where two or three are gathered, God is in their midst. But according to our police officers, where two or three were gathered, that was a recipe for a deluge of tear gas. Where two or three were huddled, they would throw at least 20 canisters of tear gas and the whole thing quickly morphed into a pandemonium with people running helter-skelter, screams rendering the air. I mean, tear gas, smokes were billowing from everywhere. It was a very odious scene is the response by our functionally illiterate medieval police force. And know that they, have, they will use the word force and not police service. Because, I mean, they, their response with violence against just a bunch of chanting youth was not commensurate with the situation at hand. Those were not law enforcers. Those were trigger-happy nitwits and nickel poops.